Yo, so I'm just gonna say right now, I had like no video ideas today, bro. I was kind of parched. So this definitely wasn't gonna be my first choice, but basically I had no other idea. So I just copied Sense of Society's like recent video. But here we are, okay? So if y'all don't know, there's this trend on TikTok where people fake disorders and like pretend to be people of autism and people with like BPD and stuff like that. And they like take random quirky traits that they have and like try to convince people that because they do certain weird stuff that they're on automatically autistic when in reality it's a much more complicated thing than that it's not just simply like oh my god i uh do this weird quirky thing no it's like a lot fucking more complicated than that bro okay there's a reason why you have to go get diagnosed so anyway here's this bitch spouting a bunch of bullshit <laughs> So let's go over the list here, okay? So you hate big spoons. Say you want like a spoon that's a bit smaller to like eat spaghetti with or something. You're autistic, bro. You're repulsed by velvet. If you don't happen to like velvet on your furniture, you're fucking autistic, bitch. You're retarded, okay? You are no longer neurotypical. You bump into walls. If you've accidentally done that, bro, you're fucking autistic, okay? You hate surprises. You plan conversations. Maybe the last one's a little bit like autistic, but like basically all of these are just like random broad shit people do, okay? None of this stuff is fucking autistic at all. It's just random fucking shit. You bump into walls. Literally everybody has fucking bumped into a wall before. You're repulsed by velvet. It's literally a fucking furniture preference. Really? That's autistic now? I'm pretty sure if you were to ask a doctor, like, how they diagnose autism, it's a lot more complicated than that. You know, it's a lot more complicated than, oh my god, you bump into walls, you're autistic now, bro. It's a lot more complicated than that, bro. This is why self-diagnosis is bad. You should not self-diagnose. And honestly, you can't cares, bro. Just live your life. Just live a normal life. Why the fuck are these people so obsessed with trying to find out if they're autistic or not? Okay, just live your life normally and deal with things as they come up, okay? But why the fuck are you so obsessed with, like, being diagnosed for something? Literally, are you such a fucking boring person that, like, you need to be autistic because there's nothing else interesting about you? Because that's honestly the fucking vibe I get from this video, bro, okay? You're a boring-ass bitch. You're lame. You're boring. And the only thing interesting about you is that you might be autistic. That's honestly the vibe I get from any of these people who do this shit, bro. Do you wear wigs? No, I do not. Will you wear wigs? Uh, maybe. Yo, it's crazy, bro. Autistic people back in the day were founding whole ass religions. Now autistic people now are just like, yeah, guys, I rub my feet together in bed and I hate velvet. <laughs> y'all have fucking gone downhill, man, okay? Like, I see autistic people used to be cool. Now y'all are fucking lame. Now y'all are actually fucking retarded, bro. Like, actually negative IQ. Holy fuck.